And I'm Phil Kafkaloudis and I will be your facilitator tonight for this special forum, which is the Gambling Harm Forum today, which has been many months in the planning. Before we begin, I would like to pay tribute and acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which this building is placed, which is the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. And I'll pay tribute to the leaders of that nation, both past and present, and indeed emerging and future, and we are honoured to be on their land today. Gambling is a big issue right across our society. And today, specifically, we'll be looking at gambling as it affects people from different ethnicities, different communities in this fabulous multicultural community that we live in. And what we will find over the next hour is a whole lot of issues have come up with certain groups within our society. And we will look at what these issues are and what can be done about it and look at some of the great work that people have actually been doing about it. And there is great work in our community. So it will be, I hope, as much an uplifting night as a sobering night and one that you get something to take away at the end of it. But first of all, we're going to look at a number of issues. And the first thing I think when you're talking about gambling is that we need to look at specifically what is gambling? Is it just what my dad did in the services in the 40s when he played two up? Is it something that he went on to do later? He was a problem gambler, my dad. He used to go and put whatever money he had into the pokies at the Hurlston Park RSL Club in Sydney and used to leave my mum a pitiful amount of money at the end of it. He was a victim of it and so was his family. But in the end, he realised what he had done. So, pokies, two up, horse racing. I worked for a man once who said... If you want to make a small fortune, start with a big fortune and then start betting on horses because no one ever wins. Or when they do, it's a very rare thing. So let's talk about gambling and the different types of gambling, especially the gambling that people are doing today in the different communities. Now, Tony Phillips is the strategic advisor for knowledge and policy for the Victorian Responsible Gambling Foundation. Now, Tony... When we talk about gambling, tell us what are the different, the changes, the, the, the types of gambling that people do now that they may not have done back in my dad's day. Okay, so to start, let's just start by saying technically gambling is when you place a bet on something that has an uncertain outcome. So then when we talk about online, we've all seen the TV ads for sports bet, which seem to be going to anyone who is a fan of just about anything to do with sport and we see a lot of American film stars and American sports stars that are saying, do it, just do it, do it. So now it, it's obviously something that is coming to be one of the biggest ways of gambling at the moment, is it? Uh, it's the fastest growing. Fastest but growing. in fact, the interesting thing perhaps, um, you know, from the point of view of um, the extent to which people are exposed to harm from gambling, participation in gambling is actually falling. So. When people say, oh, Australians are a nation of gamblers, that's not true in terms of participation. So in Victoria, it's been dropping steadily as well. OK. Well, let's go to Dr Susan Rennie, who's the mayor of Darabin. And Susan, one of the big issues that um, we have seen is that people can bet at all times now, and they can bet in the evening. Now, your council has taken some action about how people can and when they can bet in the clubs, sporting clubs in your area. Yes, we were really concerned about the link between sporting clubs and um, those clubs, particularly with kids, but also with adults and poker machine venues. Well, that actually leads on to what we'll talk about after the break, which is who is gambling? And is it true that we're seeing more younger people gambling maybe? Or is what Tony has just said before about the fact that gambling is going down, but it's concentrated, we're seeing the people who are heavily involved in gambling, actually increasing the amount that they're doing individually. But who is it that's doing it? And we've got some very interesting stories coming up after the break. So do stay with us. This is the Gambling Harm Forum.
coming to you from the Capitol Theatre in Swanston Street in Melbourne. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 